But I like in terms of like what to do in Remnant on my single player character, I'll probably go re-roll some earlier worlds because at this point it's either I try to do what we did in co-op solo and just like speed run through the first map or I grind out some new items and experiment with different uh what was it experiment with different uh loadouts and see what works or whatever that's like those are basically my options at this point since trying to get through it uh regularly on the first map in the swamp on the swamp world is just yeah no <laughs> oh god with how tired i am i'm not sure how many nights i can go through I think maybe I'll probably stick it through like about two nights worth in game, give or take. And then probably do some remnant for the hell of it. Alright, but all that aside though, with uh, uh, plans outside of Darkwood, let's get back to the real thing at hand. Or main thing. So, what's my plan for tonight? So on the last stream, we checked out the Swamp Cottage and saw that we needed a key. I went back, uh, we went to the junkyard and un er, and dug up every last bit of good loot within that junkyard and brought it back. And we made out like kings. Because even though the storage doesn't look like a lot, if we look over everywhere else, I put my shotgun and medium caliber mags here with shotgun shells. I put some gas tanks and other mats in this wardrobe. This other wardrobe, I put like a shovel blade tape and medium bullets just because. This boots will wake me up, maybe. Wait, we got my weapon parts, long barrels, and axe blades stored in there. Um. Let's go through the other side. <laughs> Rip the traitor dude who held out on the key that could have gotten us to the swamp earlier in the game because he didn't want to be a lonely man. We have like exploding barrels and more gas tanks and other mats here. I should probably fix this before I go. Also, oh, I need to rearrange the decor er, decorations, furniture. And here we have the emergency safe supply of firearms, flares, and such because I don't want to keep going back to the workshop every time I hold up here. So, I get, I get my materials, fortify this room for a bit, and then swap in my firearms and pray that the night is easy enough to survive. Give up on E7? Aww. <laughs> Although, yeah, to be fair, like, the... I, I mean, there is a new story chapter, but that's pretty much about it so far in terms of new content. <laughs> it The content is kind of getting sparse, uh, endgame and all. PvP, eh. Endgame stuff, Hell Raid is taking a bit too long. He got kicked out of champion. I don't even bother with champion. I, I'm just I just like to stay in masters and just uh, let people uh, suffer against my masters team. Cause uh, roughly on average, from what I've seen around masters four to two in epic seven, like I average around sixty percent defense rate, which is pretty dang good. Although I hear in Champion and above, I think, uh, since people would be at that point where they can take on any kind of team comp, and, like people's defense rates are like 8%, or just really low where you ha actually have to spend stones among other things to <laughs> maintain your position. 600 Sky Stones. Yeah, I know, but when when I'm at that point where I have like 15k sky stones, I really don't care about promoting. Maybe after like a new limited banner, I try to pull for someone, maybe. 
But aside from that, eh, it's kind of kind of hard pressed to push me to get through rankings like that. All right, we still had this here. Yeah, I had two in the safe, but I didn't have any more room, so let's take that out. Yeah, one really good run in champion where you could AFK, but one weak knock you out. <laughs> two strong and pull new units. Nah, it's more like, uh... More content at a third tower. <laughs> but, uh, it's not really that, but it's like, uh... In Epic 7... It, like, compared to other gacha gains where, like, uh, the moment you pull someone, you can most likely just gear them up and level them up within just a moment and just get them going. Epic 7, you'll be sitting on so many units uh, to gear up that, like, you just don't feel like pulling new units or you pull them and just let them be benched for a couple months until you can actually use them. Or have to uh, consider benching existing units to... Uh, or you have to consider existing units to bench to use your new character and just like yeah that yeah, that's like one of the big downsides to me with epic Seven. It's like come on i just want to use my units not be stuck behind a super grind wall like and this is coming from me just grinding the crap out of guild but well technically guild wars but grand blue guild wars like this whole week and looking at E7 progression, <laughs> waifu's not cute enough. Uh, there's, some, there's some cute uh, waifus, mostly sexy though. <laughs> Our team's got power creeped. Wait, power creeped as in like other people just naturally like overpowered because of updates and stuff, or it's like, do you mean your team's got all powered up because of recent buffs and changes? Ah. Oh, I should probably get going. Okay, wait. I didn't establish uh, a plan of exp or a path of exploration for the next night. So again, we explored pretty much everything that's been explored within this radius, give or take some spots that maybe have a thing that I can grab, but it's not really worth it to look for it again. E7, you seem to be carrying players. Wait, what do you mean by carrying players? <laughs> There's not really caring for anything, and in terms of like having friend supports. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, so let's comment. Ah, uh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> <sighs> okay. But I think the next plan is to... Oh, we can also visit the snail and try to cut him out. Of the shell, but do I really want to? I don't know. I could. But then, the problem is, I have to take precious time out of my day to go all the way back, cut him out, run all the way back out and maybe explore a little bit more and going by the travel distance. That's not exactly the best use of my time. Although I'm not sure what the rewards are if I do cut the snail out of the shell. Cause I could trigger some kind of weird story or gameplay consequence or maybe just get a reward for freeing him but Mmm, again, not sure about that being a good use of my time. So I think we'll kind of cut by the the junkyard, like the south end of it, and just kind of hug the edge of the map and see how far it can go before having to retreat back. And then as I kind of hug my way around the wall here, I'll, I'll kind of like go to the return path to the west a bit lower and lower each day to uncover a bit more of the landmass around this zone. So that'll be kind of the plan. Uh, I assume with how this is going to go, 
This would probably take... Okay, like, it'd be pushing it if I can make it over here. Uh, it'd probably take about... Okay, one day if I'm fast enough, assuming there are not too many loot stops. Or two nights, or two days, I mean. If, uh, on the way I find some goodies or trigger some other story or NPC, like, quest or encounter or what have you. Then, yeah, this could take, uh, two nights just to get through this stretch. And then, probably... Actually, maybe I might consider just exploring just this whole landmass right here for one day. And leave, like, this last little tail end for, like, one exploration day, I think. Maybe that might be more efficient. Yeah, I can kind of cut off my search radius, like, here for today. And see how much more I can discover. Yeah, that probably sounds good. Alright, but how's my... How's my inventory looking? I got... Got some stones. I want to take one more, just in case I need to stop a moss man from running up and exploding. Uh, the axe... Uh, I'll hold on to it, you'll never know. Good damage good for breaking down doors. Shovel, I need to keep... Oh, like, funny thing. You'd think the axe would be a, a, a better combat weapon than the shovel, but just the extended range of the shovel just makes it that more invaluable in comparison to the axe, so... Yeah, this is being criminally underused in combat, but given how other enemies have long reach and range project... or... Yeah, like, range attacks and stuff... Yeah, the axe is not going to cut it. I think I'll still... Actually, I have weapon parts, right? Uh, actually, couldn't I make another pistol if I had to? Oh, no, no, I need to buy a pistol frame, I think. Hold on. Pistol frame, pistol frame... No, just weapon parts, because there's no pistol frames in any of the other stuff there. Okay, so then I'd have to buy the pistol frame if I want to reclaim or remake my pistol that I might have lost. Yeah, and I kind of splurged on buying a lot of stuff from the three here, so if I survive another night, I can just buy the handgun frame should I die. But I think I pretty much got everything I wanted. Like... Yeah, uh, nothing else here. Uh, where'd I put my bandages? Ah, uh, here it is. Yeah, I'll probably just bring one bandage, because again... Given the scarcity of alcohol, and just rags in general, after my move over to the swamp. I'm not in the position to just bring all of my healing items on me. Should I die or get low on health, I'll just bring the bare minimum. I also have the odd meats here so that it grants me extra stamina and damage protection because it apparently makes your skin thicker from eating random meat from all in enemies, sure. I wonder if I should bring some spare bear traps with me. In case I want to lure certain enemies over without having to... Mm, nah, that, that's a bit too much hassle for what it's worth, because they could... The setup might be a bit janky with trying to fight them like that. Also, we got a lot of wires again. Uh, I could make one more lockpick and cap out on how much I have. And in terms of pills, alcohol, should be good. Wonder if I should kind of use a, the knife to throw, but eh. Oh yeah, also I have to be careful because the swamp is, well, swamp with all the bodies of water everywhere. 
I assume that you lose items that are left inside the water. Because I've seen corpses during my time here fall into the swamp upon death, making them non-lootable. I'm like, oh, that's... that's not good. Also, again, the stupid bug or... Or, where it doesn't fill up the extra bar of health I have. Because every time I load in the game, the game doesn't recognize that I've already had this to begin with and adds it after the fact, after loading in my uh, HP values and all. That really bothers me. Okay, gotta remember where I put this stuff. Okay, before we leave for the northwest, let's go try putting this back. Again, this won't really do much of anything, but hey, it's there. Sure. That'll hold them. Nah, I'm not gonna bring a gas tank. I shudder at the notion of having to get oxygen tanks to dive into the swamp. If it's if it's uh if the game would be nice to me, which I highly doubt. I can only hope that the oxygen tanks are just a method of using, like, kind of like a, a fuel canister. Like, you use half of it to traverse through one end of a hole in the water to the other, and use the other half to go back or find another way out. I can only hope it's like that, because if you have to somehow... Is this some kind of, like, swimming or some weird underwater thing you have to do? Oh my god, we are going to have problems. Cause how you, cause with the with the combat as slow and some would argue sluggish or clunky, I I'm not sure how I would describe exactly, but it's more You have to be more careful with how you do combat. But yeah, considering how slow paced the combat can be How's it going to feel if there's underwater combat? That's probably not good. And, alright, don't really have anything else to do but to actually follow through with my plan on exploring around here. So I'll probably do... Actually, should I just do like a dive up, down, and around, or... Hmm. What if there's no water combat at all? Good. <laughs> good. It better not be. Because traversing through the the swamp itself on, on land is the biggest pain in the, in the butt ever. Because your movement speed, like let, let's say if you go for 100%, you go down to like a 25% and that's with sprinting. Or whatever the real value is. It You get so slowed down in the swamp. It is certain death if there's even one enemy in that water and you're caught out without a gun. Can still be killed. Yeah, and worst of all, if you die with your inventory, that backpack's going to the bottom of the swamp and you're never getting it back. So that makes all these things much more valuable, because if I lose my military flashlight, I'm screwed. If I lose my watch, that's extra money I have to pay to keep track of time so I don't, like, wander out too long in the night. Lantern, eh. Batteries, I have the rest stored. Pills, it would really suck if I lost my pills. Because I don't have much healing to go by from from day to day. Like, the axe, I have extras. Shovel, I have extras. But, again, the materials to upgrade and maintain them, I'd rather not lose them. Alright, so I think we'll cut by the junkyard again and... I guess, uh... Actually, how about I do this? Like, I kind of wrap around... And then kind of loop 
back to the hideout like that. Sort of. <laughs> like, maybe not the exact path, but just kind of go around to the edge, down to the holes, and kind of snake my way through whatever available land there is, assuming it's not just pure swamp, and then walk my way back via the ruins. That bag animation looked like some alien chomping on a guy's head. What? I guess you can argue it kind of looks like that. It is pretty exaggerated, like, <laughs> how he rummages through his, uh, his backpack like that. Alright, hold on. Let me move my... My wrist pad, real quick. Okay. Junkyard we go. Junkyard we go. How have I never spotted this? See. Oh, I can't open that. Wardrobe, gas, ooh. Please search warrant. Mom. I think we have gas. Oh, fuck. Re oh, God. Oh, man. Dead Banshee babies. Leave you be. Check your corners. Hello. The pliers! It was there all along! It was right next to me! Oh, is this like a shortcut? Oh, no. His baby's dead by fire. <laughs> yeah, no, th those babies were anything but regular. Oh boy. Well, yeah, we finally got the pliers. I feel like a dumbass for not getting that sooner. Oh, it was right there. We can get a double barrel shotgun if I have more pliers. The hunting rifle was there all along. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. It was all there. Species. Look, look. They they attacked first, you don't understand.
Oh, there's a crate out there, but I really want to go to that water. Oh, yeah. Alright. Lizard, I know you're there. You can't hide from me. I'm waiting for that splash. Hey, Patchy. How you doing? Okay, so we're here. Just need to explore upwards. Oh! Oh! Oh, shit! You're so funny. Okay. Okay, this can go so right or so wrong. Yeah. I was hoping that you can kind of throw it through, but okay game. Maybe I just didn't angle that right. Probably. Imagine this for a horror game. Only time you can make a hard save is between chapters you're going temporary save. Temp uh, within like the session, I guess. Uh, that that just sounds more annoying than horrific or whatever. Like you want people to be spooked by the game, not like irritated by dumb uh, design decisions. You gotta be kidding me. Makes death actually scary? No, you can make death scary in other ways. Not just like, oh, I have to go back to another, like, long, ch or checkpoint long ago. I, I highly disagree with that notion. Is this? You can see that working if chapters are more so single levels. Yeah, like if it's short enough to warrant it, then sure. If not though, that's not enjoyable in the slightest. Bust out the lantern because it's all right. Just chop that down, but I need to check if there's. No, I need to check my way up and around before I check that house. A generator. It's 
So I'm probably over here right now. Oh, and I already checked there, so then... It should be good. Hmm. What if you can only save where you died? <laughs> Dark wood inventory losing? Yeah, like... Even if you... Even if there's technically infinite lives, the amount of, like, s stuff you lose is pretty much, to me, just as scary. Considering all that, like, hard work you have to put in to get that back. Oh, fuck. There's something there. Big, big Chungus? Is that you? Big Chungus? Hey, you're a... Oh, there's a window that's already open from this side. Huh? Um, what the fuck is here? Said, scare my enemies away. Okay, I gotta go back after this. I spent way too much time fighting. Ooh, got a second watch though. Ultimate PvP experience. Well, it's a good thing I have avoid poison, Jesus. Or at least, or was that avoid poison? Probably.
Oh, uh, yeah, don't, don't tempt me. Oh! I do it! Okay, I have to remember, somewhere around here, I need to get that crate and get the knife and weapon parts, those are valuable. I don't, part of me wonders if I should kinda, um, well... I'm sure this is of no consequence whatsoever. Hey, better, 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 swing! Oh, okay, there's nothing. <laughs> okay, I need to get my defensive setup right now. I don't have much time. Need to make my antidotes before these things end up expiring. This one might as well just turn into a gas bomb. Uh, I need to repair. Uh, so, where to put the nails? Where to put the nails? Gonna need that too. Switch that out. Put the lantern back. Light armor. Look, I, I I can explain that later. Right now I can't. Um. Uh, gasoline. That's much I can do. I don't have enough nails for a second boarding. Oh, crap. Safe. Flares are more important in case stuff happens. Oh, I don't have Molotovs! Oh, fuck. There's no time.
Oh, no gas tank. I didn't bring it. Well, crap. This is all I have. Hacking guys ruining my trap over there. Oh, ah, don't stare at it. This is probably a <laughs> Three Pulitzer guys? Jesus. They're in. Exactly, repair that now, can I? Well, I got a good angle here. Any moment now, I'm waiting. I hear you. Is a spider? What the fuck? Let's not. Can we not? Oh, whoops! I dropped two players by accident. Fuck! I need to buy one tomorrow. Well, since we're here already, let me just stay invisible. I thought that flares or a flashlight would make that disappear, but I guess you just have to avoid it. Rip wasted players. How's how you doing, Scarlack? The door breaking reminds you of the Lord of the Rings scene in the mines. How did that go again? It's been god knows how long since I saw Lord of the Rings. Ah, uh, they didn't trigger that one.
Ah, they broke this door. I should really leave a thing of... Or, I should really leave a gas tank in that safe, to be honest. Should probably go repair that. Because it, it is like, it does give me an indicator of where they are. By the way, Skarlak, uh, guess who just realized where the pliers were? It was in the house literally right next to us. <sighs> now the question is, where is the second one? So all this time, I could have an upgrade for... The axe and the barrel, but uh, I'm not exactly sure if I use the bar the exploding barrel. I, I probably should, but uh... also this mushroom, all it's already getting to the point where it's getting too rotten, so I might as well just turn into a gas bottle. Might want to look in the garbage. Wait, what garbage? Another prom sword? Hey, nice rail. And yeah, I was right about that hunting rifle. <laughs> double barrel shotgun too. I kind of want to get that double barrel. I, I know I haven't used my single shot, but... Oh man. Double barrel, hunting rifle, pistol all decked out. Although, I'm gonna need a set aside a lot of inventory just to carry those bullets and stock up on them I wonder when or where I get the key for this door like what's so important that your own base has a locked door that you have yet to find a key for There has to be something there. Uh, let's see... Anything else I can put up over here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Molotov, Molotov. I should probably go sort out my inventories first. So, the wood, going back in the saw. The meat, I'll probably keep on hand to just, like, eat or something. Flares, you need to go back into the safe. Mushroom, you will rot here. Sell the shiny stone. Oh. Also, we got a second watch from the other, from the house nearby, which I'm really happy about. So in case I do lose the watch, I don't have to pay an arm and a leg for a new watch. So we we got we got our safety backups ready. Also got a battery as well, so we're full stocked on batteries for now. Uh, I hope it has good reach. Wait, does this not have an upgrade on it? Zero of three. Yeah, hold on. Ah, here it is. My other shovel. The axe I'll keep for breaking down stuff. Small caliber, yeah, you know, I'll put this back in the safe. Medium caliber bread. Uh, I'll just keep it here, I don't know. Military flashlight. The knife. I have two knives, I don't know what to do with it. Fabric. I have a feeling I might need this fabric, so I'll kind of hold on to it until I really need to make a big sale. Uh, let's see... 
Actually, let me do some reorganizing here. So the weapon parts and all that go down here. Potential or other crafting materials go up here. The bottle there. Actually, yeah, I, I leave the rags down there. The watch, sure, I'll put it there. Hmm. Oh yeah, actually, can I just do it this way? Like, every... Every day or so should I bring out the lantern because like, I should be using it more liberally as I get through dark areas with enemies inside them like I should just have excess uh excess lanterns on hand and just fill it in as I venture out every day but why don't I think of that earlier I feel pretty dumb okay uh flare bandage with alcohol I believe that's all good. Anything else I could sell? Not necessarily. No. So that's where the wooden stuff goes. Uh... Right. Flares go over here. And the extra mag. Mm. You know what, I, I feel like I, I could leave out the flares and just put in a gas tank. Like, give me that. Hello, what do I put in its place? If anything. Eh. Okay, so then I'll always have a gas tank on hand, just in case. You'll never know. Metal pipes. Actually, I could put- I could switch out the, uh, gas tank and... Metal pipes. Actually, I may have just should have swallowed that one more in hindsight. This is not efficient. Alright. Tanked up in there. Got metal pipes. Some metal pipes in there. Stuff in there. Medium caliber bullets in there. We got a extra shovel material shoved into the wardrobe. Weapon parts, long barrels. We can make the double barrel, I think. But do I really want to or need to right now? Not really. That would be pretty cool, not gonna lie. Alright, I think the next course of action we need to talk to the three. Probably sell this shiny stone for more rep. Definitely need my rags, my wires. Like, this stuff I'm taking for sure. Uh, nah, I don't need the pistol frame. Excuse me. Uh, shotgun shell, mag. bullet. Batteries we don't need. Wood. We have like 30 something. I, I guess I can buy just some extra here. Flares. We have like 12 so I don't need to keep wasting too much rep. And let's see. Long barrel. 
Now, the only thing that I would need would be just the handgun for another pistol, but if we can always go on day two or the day after and just buy it again. So no need. Uh, how about tape? Don't I need don't I need a bunch of those actually at this point? Oh, anyway, I can upgrade stuff, can't I? Ah, 203. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I can finally upgrade this. Metal pipe. Oh, God, that's gonna burn through my scrap, but hey. That's why I save them up for. Wait, was this the axe blade or shovel blade? Axe blade. Uh, those are the barrels. All right, I also got finally got my tier three upgrades. Shovel blade, tape. I ah, you know I just. Oh god, I don't have room in my inventory. <laughs> Silly me. See, upgrade. Well, rip the less stamina, but durability, sign me up. All right. So now we got a shovel or both shovels with sharpen. One has durability, one has stamina. So durability versus stamina. Yeah, like, I can basically switch between the two, like, stamina for the more, like, intense fights, the sturdy blade and better mats one, like, if I know I'm gonna be fighting through a lot of stuff and I can't mentally, like, remember to swap in the heat of the moment like that. How much do I need for shotgun and hunting rifle? We just need the long barrel, weapon parts. We got some tape ready, so we're good there. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to store in here, like the metal pipe? No, not really. Let's see, the wire goes there. Rags, flares can go in here, just because. So, good stockpile of wood. This would pretty much be my metal pipe storage. Shotgun shells go here. Mm, medium caliber bullets go into this wardrobe. Although, I wonder if I should just try to make- Oh no no, I can't make it now. I need, I need to find one more pliers. <laughs> Right, because they always show you what the next one is, not what you currently... Or... Or, no, these are sure what you currently... Words. Words are hard. Uh, that is not where I put my medium caliber bullets. Oh, did I put it inside this wardrobe? Yeah. Uh, maybe I should just put more of my excess ammo and stuff in here since I don't have any room in the safe now. Mm. Nah, nah, just leave it there. So we got that now. No drink to that. Long barrel, weapon parts. Yeah, we need the pliers. Uh. Wanna make it now? Shovel. I only made an extra shovel just so I can dig up more of the junkyard, so this can kind of stay until I lose my shovels out in the wild. The meats, uh, keep. Can make some extra lockpicks. Because we don't really need it anymore, at least from what I can currently tell, so I'll just make two extra. Uh, 
Right, Molotovs. I'm going to need more fuel. Let's just take both. I don't think I really need anything else. And I think with the amount of supplies I have, I can scrounge up enough for a handgun should I lose my pistol. So I think that's good. Just really want to make sure I get topped off on all I knew with fuel because, again, I think all the or the rest of the alcohol will go to the bandages. Actually, since I since I'm going by that line of thought, I should just do that anyways. Saves myself the inventory space as well. Well, okay, not really anymore. Again, only bringing very minimal amounts. And gotta be careful with the rags that I make now at this point. I have to choose between armor and another bandage. In terms of scrap, that, those upgrades kind of took a lot out. Actually, actually, you know what? Rip my scrap, but I do have an extra axe blade. Because why take increased weapon durability when you can just skip that step and go for greatly increased durability? And you can always go back to that one. Yeah, it's not like there's like a a prereq or anything like that. So yeah, here we go. Now I can break down two doors or barricades with this. I really wish there were like weapon upgrades though, because I haven't seen any, because I'm pretty sure they don't exist in this game. But man, would it be nice. Spoopy. Hey ice cream, how you doing? Rudy. Alright, Molotovs. Alright, I'm giving up my rags for... Well... I'll have to decide on the next day, because I want at least two Molotovs on me at all times. One for clearing, one for... Or was it? One for potentially clearing something, one for an enemy I really don't want to deal with up close, like the Banshees and stuff. Too comfy after too much Pokemon? Oh, you came to the right stream to become the exact opposite. Because, oh man, we got a long day ahead of us right now. Alright, but is that about it for what I need to do? I, I got a lot of antidotes. Uh, actually, you know what? Since we actually have a good amount of antidotes, I'll actually bring two with me this time. I'm daring now, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, I'll keep uh, antidotes in case I do panic and run over some poison. Batteries, good. Lantern, good. Alright, so we're set with our materials right now. Not bringing my pistol, because of what I said earlier. And let us see. So we explored toward the ruin, which was housing two chompers and... and all that. And we also got sidetracked with some fighting and some earlier loot. So that kind of cut time away. Because I really wanted to explore this whole area, but... Me yeah, maybe that wasn't exactly possible within one day unless I really tried. But yeah, we'll try to uncover what the back corner of this place has and then kind of... Uh, oh, you can move the map? Oh. But yeah, I think I'll cut down by this area and leave this last chunk for whenever... I loot out this entire place here. So... Yeah, I think we take this similar 
or actually maybe not the same path like just like a little bit south of where the house was and then wrap back up and then move down toward the holes or near it or as close as possible because again i'm not sure what the swamp layout is in this whole area here Hopefully they don't have a second Great Lake where they just have like some giant shadowy place where light doesn't penetrate through. Cause that will not be fun. Again, like... Mm, maybe I could try going through, but if there is like a second, maybe third, I doubt a third Great Lake. We'll have to see. Uh, do I take my pistol? Uh, you know what, I'll take my pistol. I I if I lose it, we lose it, we can buy another one. I just, at this point, find it really hard to justify not having, like, a f or some firearms on me. I'll keep the axe off of my hotbar. So that uh, when I do need to take it out, I just use it to break into somewhere. Because I'm not going to use my shovels to break down a door. Oh yeah, I need to refill the generator too. Guns are basically my elixirs in this game. Yeah, pretty much. And I guess with the line I thought I was going by earlier, I'm like, yeah, wait, I... I I, I gotta wait to use it. I mean, you'll never know when you'll really need it, right? <laughs> Meanwhile, all in the swamp and will say, Man, I could really use a gun right now. <laughs> oh. Also, wish that reloading can. Nah, there's no like way to partially fill a mag, but. Yeah, I gotta use the rest of my bullets before I reload. Oh. <gasps> Uh, what was my line of thought again? Yeah, this doesn't leave us much to go with, but I could just eat the meat. And then just run my way through. Actually, uh, just keep this at one antidote. Because mushrooms are a precious resource since... It's definitely going to be... Or there's not going to be many opportunities for me to bring back like a whole mushroom to convert into an antidote. So whatever I have... Yeah. So ice cream's like, wow. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. We are set to go for real now. After... I go use the restroom. <laughs> I really need to get up and use the restroom right now, so be right back.
Alright, I am back. Sorry for the wait. Alright, plan. Cut through a little bit lower, explore more of this area, and leave this little chunk for last. I have no idea what's here, but oh man, I feel like we're in for something here, because there's always got to be something when you start from here and have to go to the other side of the map to look for something. Give Susie a <laughs> Okay. One last double check though. Do I... I need to repair that door. Actually, I kind of wonder if I should go around barricading random... random spots around the... the base. I could fortify that. Oh yeah, Poltergeist uh, blew these in. I should probably take this wardrobe in first. Sure. <laughs> uh, that, that, that'll do it. Uh, I'll leave that door open in case I want to bear- or uh, trap this part and... Uh, I wonder if I should have two bear traps like right next to each other. Yeah, I, that, that should probably work. And since this door was actually broken today, I'll probably... I'll probably leave a... Let's see, so they don't usually go through there. I'll leave it one trap out here, one trap there, one trap there. Or, no, two traps, because you'll never know if one goes up here. Because sometimes they might not walk over this thing in general. Or one, one, one? Like, three points in that one room. Uh, although the more points I talk about, like, how much more scrap would that be? Because I'm running low after going on an upgrading spree. Yeah, so I'm not barricading any of that just yet. Let's see, how's this doing? Full health. Full health. Full health. Got the lamp. You know, I kind of would. Huh. <laughs> you know, this seems stupid enough that I actually just want to keep this here. Because I, I know that they can just push through, but I think I'm pretty sure chairs and lamps are indestructible. So while they push themselves through here, ideally that should give me enough time if I'm like cornered in he over here to throw a Molotov or line up a pistol shot 
like from the distance and then as soon as they make an opening through some chairs then I can shoot them down. And this one I'll probably just leave one, two, and then three. Actually, it'd probably be better just put one, two, and three, like just a chain of three right next to each other. So that, you know, one goes in and falls, the other goes in and falls, the other one would hopefully go in and fall if they haven't learned their lesson yet. Also at this point, uh... Nah, I'll keep my wooden stuff in the saw. Any point in barricading over here? No, nah, that door hasn't been damaged. Yeah, they don't... They don't seem to come from the uh, eastern or south sides or... Well... Well, they come in from the southeast, but... Seems like... I mean, no, they don't really have a reason to, uh... To hit up these zones, because there's just nothing here. Uh, anything I can- oh yeah, the wooden stuff. Alright. That about does it. We're going to cut through the the ruined house and going just straight west, straight west, to see anything I haven't seen while I was trying to traversing closer to the junkyard. And once we hit the edge, we'll go upwards and check if there's any little spot up there for any goodies. And that's the plan. So, looking over my weapons, this one's a durability one, this one's a stamina one. Yeah, I'll keep the durability one. Should I eat the meat now? No, yeah, why not? Because it's going to rot anyway. Let's go! Oh, free scrap! Dead spider from earlier, so I'm roughly about here. Again, I should have brought rocks, I completely forgot. Oh yeah, how do I exactly get in there? Or in this place? Because like, this plate, this thing is barred, so I don't know how to do that. Hmm. Just the word meat made you have a small twitch reaction because they're guild wars. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, Scarlet, let me ask this. Because in, in this house here, I, uh... Can you throw a Molotov through the hole in the wall? Or am I supposed to do something else to... get through that door because it's barred on one side because of the wardrobe? And I'm guessing I have to blow it up? Or something? Like, do I... I'm guessing I need, like, a gas tank or... Or am I just supposed to expertly throw in a Molotov without hitting myself? Because I tried the the previous day and I set myself on fire. <laughs> Thankfully, I had my heels, but... Whoops. Did you see the hole? Yeah, it's like uh, this one right here. Wardrobe. I can barely fit my hand to open and close this metal door. This is a metal door too, so I can't exactly do anything about it. 
And it doesn't seem like there's any other way in. So am I supposed to just get a gas tank and blow it open? That's probably not the solution. I mean, there has to be a way in if they give you like an opening like that, right? Because metal doors cannot be damaged. And... Well... Originally, I was going to try throwing the Molotov to the wardrobe to break it down uh, from the fire dot. But then, well, my character can't exactly throw through a wall for some stupid reason. <laughs> or maybe I just didn't get the angle right. But I don't want to keep risking myself and my Molotovs. So maybe next time I'll bring a gas tank. And then just kind of see if I can... There are just some places that you cannot enter. Ah, really? That looks like a place I can enter. I just need to... You know... Just set up a... A gas tank. Maybe it'll... Actually, I'm not sure how far the placement radius is. He like determination. I'll, I'll try the next day. I don't want to go back. To make another wonderful story. I won't blow myself up with a gas tank. I, I can stand far enough away. There's that lizard that I got earlier. Okay, I'm curious. Make him happy. Take those. What was that? Is it stuck? No, it isn't. Really? If it spawns a second, I'm busting out the gun. Nice. Eating at the meat. There's logs down there, but I have other valuables to look for. Oh, it's a logging camp, that's why. Okay, fine. I'll bite. I see that trap. That, that's precious scrap. Okay, I should cut uh, by down south. What's that? Hello? Anything in there? Trust that. Maybe that's just the ground. You know, I really wonder what it is about these things. Can I burn them? Is there a side effect to leaving them there? Okay. You, you know, we gotta test this. Ah, oh, man. I thought that would cause a reaction. Also, is this a lizard thing? Fuck, go, fuck, go, fuck. Get closer.
Okay, yeah. Part of me wonders if there are multiple dead corpses or something like that. The centipede will come back and reanimate the other enemy. Or maybe it looks for active enemies to convert into a centipede enemy. I wonder. Also, I still... Oh no, I don't have my lantern on me. This is getting foggy. Guns reloaded. Whoa, 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 what is this? Hello? Can't take the logs. A body? Corpse of a lucky bastard has been tied to the tree. I wonder what significance is that, or is it just there to scare me? Can I set it on fire? I know I don't have to do this, but. I just don't like those. Okay, it's uh, past noon already. Not making good time yet. Can I search this? Not yet. Uh, I'm just gonna actively skip the logs because I I'm in a position where I can just buy my wood. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm oh, fine. through just enough to fill my inventory anything else here on dry land please okay so I'm hugging this area now uh, I think we travel back once I look through this corpse for a bottle well I mean well, we take those I think I'll just go eat another meat again so I can get some wood. If I need wood, I'll come back to this. Though it will be a costly journey because, dude, man, that takes a lot of time to get here. Great. Famous last words. <laughs> Ooh, loot! Okay, wait, wait, what's my... What's my plan? Do I just eat another? Uh... Bottle... Rag... Ditch the stone... No, not the stone... Okay, fuck it, I'll eat my meat. Sickle pill... Okay, so we're roughly about here now. So I think we can we can explore a little bit more. I think by the time it reaches Okay, wait. Uh what's my time limit? 
I think... No, 1500 is 3 o'clock. I think... I think 1600 I need to run back and prep. Ooh, that's some good stuff there. Exploding barrels. <laughs> um. Yeah, how about I come back tomorrow and pick those up and not kill myself? <laughs> Oh, I see remnants of what was here. A uh, radio tower? like a radio tower. Okay, we need to go back now. Another corpse, bam. Man, no room in my goddamn inventory. There are a lot of traps here. Another tree. Oh, more landmarks to go by. Okay, so I was like over here. Okay, just keep going east a little bit up. What's this mark on the ground? Yeah, I'm reading too much into it, but... Hmm. Yeah, not doing so hot on HP. I need. That's why I need to get back. I don't want to burn my pills and bandages. Back home. these back in here, nails go in there, we don't need wood for a long while, put that back, scrap, bottles that, pills, stone, sickle, maybe I'll keep the knife, I'll make one molotov, I can't make another armor so that's all I got, 
My pistol's still here. I need to make at least... I would... I kind of want to make three traps. Maybe one more. Uh, that's a little bit overkill considering it's just one night, but uh, screw it. 1800, switch that on. drink some water. Uh, is that gonna fill me up to max? Oh, barely. Oh, screw you. you know what? I want to be really safe. Let's make two more. It hit- the door hit me on my ass on the way out. Okay. Oh crap, wait, I should've... too late. That's what this game is about. swap when I need it because I don't know which position might need uh, a gas tank to defend from or on. Nah, they can see the light through there. You know, actually that makes me wonder, if the light doesn't penetrate through these barricades, does this lamp generate any aggro or is it just like the presence of a light? Like, has enemies coming toward this room? Or is it only if they can see light through the window? Although I technically have the lights on and everywhere in general though. Hmm. The generator being on gives aggro? Ah, uh, I guess it's like a noise thing. Walking gives aggro. So generator, walking. Because sound, right. That was the first one. Oh, I don't have one on the other side. Uh, I have the materials to repair that, right? Yes, I do. Plenty. 
Oh, there are beetles here. Oh, I missed the beet. Oh, no, no, no. Give me that fresh armor. I hear an unpleasant thing. And the infestation is creeping in more and more. But I guess aside from that, that's rather... Oh no, we still got, we still got a couple hours. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. If we get another beetle, that would be pretty good though. They're not, it's not a beetle, but some other kind of insect. Monka gun. <laughs> that perfectly describes me right now. Man, look at this infestation though. This is oh, this is gonna be a bitch to clear out. I guess that trap really did kill that sp uh, human spider. Thank goodness. Oh my, look at that infestation! Oh my god! Ah, oh, jeez. Well... Yeah, this trap hasn't been sprung. I'll go dismantle this one. We need to make a way out. Yeah, this isn't the barricade, this is a prison. Wow, yeah, we triggered... Or they triggered both traps. Oh my god! Oh, you, do you see this shit? Oh my god, how much do I have to clear out here, man? I need to know the generator. Okay, but let's assess the damage, because I heard something down here. Okay, I need to make sure not to hit my own traps if... If I did set it somewhere. Nah, no one creeped in on this. Is this relatively undamaged? Yep. Pristine condition. Well, as pristine as it can be in the dark wood, but... Okay, so what's the most efficient way of clearing this? Because I feel like I can't really use my torch. I although, wait, 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 do I still have a spare torch? I do. Okay, well, we might as well use it. Not the flare, not the flare, not the flare. Let me just take that out so I don't burn them by accident. You know, part of me wishes you can use your fists. 
to attack. Like, why why can't you punch something? Yeah, it would be ineffective against most of the things in Dark Woods, but if you have nothing, I mean, you got your fists, right? Anything wrong with that? Okay, let's take care of inside here first. Okay, what's worth more to me, a Molotov or a torch? Well, let's compare the two resource usages. So we got- so we need- we really need rags. So rags, wood, fuel, match. So basically... Uh, it uses less fuel, but it's a bit less... Actually, is that more efficient? It's- I probably cleared out more with the torch than I did with than I would with one or two Molotovs. Yeah, because that seems like a thing I need to clear with two or three Molotovs. So the main difference is more fuel and a bottle. Or rags, but I can only get two right now. So that begs the question... And... I still have my bandage with alcohol. Two of them, in fact. I think... I can probably get away with... using a rag to make a... a torch. Since it uses less fuel. Yeah, and we have plenty of wood, so like, I might as well spend it. the infestation taken care of. I think. Yeah, they don't really put the infestation in places that are too far from where you're holding up, right? Usually. Yeah, because uh, it was only right around here. Okay, so we still got a trap here, still got a trap there, so we don't have to make it for next time. But yeah, it seems like the way to go would be two traps here, and two traps here as well. And any more... Well, that's when I bust out my weapons. Piggy? Any? Wait. What, where? What would cause a- what? Oh yeah, I wanna test out the sickle. Oh, I'm literally out of rags. Oh, what? It's a double hit? Oh, and the quick attack gives you a back step. That... Oh... I mean, short range, but that's... 
more maneuverable than I gave this weapon credit for. Can I upgrade this? Ah, come on! Oh, can I repair it? Yes, I can. But, huh, two... Two hits, though, and if you hold in... A, if you hold your direction while you're moving... Interesting. Hmm. That makes me want to try this out and it doesn't stun. Yeah, it, it says it doesn't interrupt enemy attacks, which is also the big drawback, also the range, but the maneuverability, like the whole being able to quick hit and back step at the same time. Like, I know the distance isn't that long, because like if we compare it to how far I step back from like this line to where I go. It's like basically the size of my character's like sprite or whatever. But that that's basically like the range of like what enemies usually slap me around in. Cause like you can ease cause even though if it's just this range, keep in mind you should always be moving. So then you, you just hit and move back, it's like, oh, like, like, look at the distance, like, within just that small time frame. Or even, can you combine it with, like, no, nah, that costs stamina, though, which is not good. Yeah, because that's, like, a little over one bar if you... Huh. Wait a second. Wait a second. Actually, is the recovery time the same amount as finishing your back step? Hold on. And it takes time to reset. I'll show you like... Okay, I, I should probably do this. Okay, so your stamina refills before... No, 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 that doesn't finish the attack animation, because I assume the attack hits or goes through when you spend your stamina. Too soon. Oh, wait, wait. Nah, I, I think that's roughly the same amount of time. I, I don't think I can, like, cancel that animation and charge up quicker. I, I, I think the back step is roughly the same amount as just regular swing recovery. Although it does give you, I mean, even if it's the same in terms of like animation time, although you do spend a little more stamina, it does allow you to kind of reposition like while doing all that. Hmm. Uh, I'll kind of leave it here though. It's like after all this still leaves a sickle in. Oh, no rags. Armor's gonna be gone. I think we're good with wooden nails. Should probably convert some stuff. How much do I have here? Ah, just just put the whole thing in.
Alright, Rotten Mushroom. We're gonna get another gas bottle. I'm not sure if I should... I'm not sure when I would really use these, though. Oh yeah, these three, or these four, I need to put back in the safe. Yeah, I'll go do that. Oh, the extra bag goes in there. More sleepiness. Um... What else can go in here? Yeah, I'll just leave the knife in here. In case I want to do a throwing knife or something and I don't want to approach a door. I wonder how much damage the knife, throwing knife does to people though. Alcohol, we got two of scrap. We're very low after I spent everything. Tape. Yeah, shiny stone is the only thing we can sell. Alright, so scrap. Definitely getting. We need wires. Fuel, ammo, probably ammo, nah, I mean like I have like seven mags in all, maybe less if I spend some today, so I think like six mags should be Enough to carry around. Uh, I don't want to keep draining my reputation by stock by over stockpiling on this because we also got my shotgun if I need to bring it out or something during like a more dangerous expedition into I assume like the village when we get there. Mm, weapon parts. I still have my fabric on hand, so I'll sell it if I need to, but I can just keep it on me. Although, I could just buy it now and wait for it to refresh to maybe buy another one? No, 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 no. Because uh, I already have one weapon part in the wardrobe. Oh, yeah, on the other hand though, I need to sell the stone. Uh, how are we doing on wooden nails? I think we're really good on nails. Yeah. Wood. It takes about three for a window, about five for a door. Three, five, it's like... Uh, we got enough to go buy. Okay, okay, you know what, maybe I'll just go buy the, the cheap pile. Just, just buy this one for the sake of it. Self-doubt. Alright. So we got all that ready. Do I need fuel? It would be nice to keep more than three on hand at all times. But I need to save my rep. I feel like with the extra knives I have, I should probably sell one of them. Because, again, the, this is becoming more of the elixir situation where it's like, Oh, I could use these, but uh, I'll keep it when I really need And then it's like, wait. Oh yeah, I did say that I'll take the gas tank and try blowing up the uh, thing in the ruined house. Although on the other hand, I did say that I'll probably just do two nights of uh, dark wood. Uh, let's keep this on hand. Uh, shotgun shells. 
Actually, yeah, I'll go stock up on medium bullets and shotgun. Because I think I'm done with the mags. Just the individual bullets I would like to stock up on. How about that? So we got the full 10 here. Got a bunch here. Oh, they'll just bring two. But I think uh, uh, I think I'll I think I'll keep with what I mentioned earlier. Uh, I think I'll switch games for tonight. Uh, even though I'm kind of feeling a bit more awake now, thanks no thanks to Darkwood. Uh, like still feeling that bit of exhaustion, like back of my head, so to say, from pulling that all nighter last night so probably to not push it too much i'll probably just switch to something else so next time i mean looking at this we did make good progress like we found some like a house some other good places and i think at this rate Let's say if I go for a longer session where I actually do like four nights, then if this took two nights to uncover, then we can uncover probably the rest of this within the next four. Depending on how bad it gets on this end, it might require a fifth night. Uh, maybe I'm like overestimating how much stuff could be in here because like there could be a lot of in-betweens with like body or bodies of water or other swamp stuff so yeah we can probably explore this if I try hard enough within the next normal or normal length sec or session. Blah. Can't word right now. Alright.